Hey, it's James Lynch from the MMA Industry Podcast, and today I'm gonna to show you how I like to edit my split-screen video interviews that I do on Skype. And if you haven't seen part one where I show you how you can record your Skype videos, go check that out first. But if you've already checked it out, let's dive into this right now. So we're here on my desktop, and it's actually really good timing because I just finished an interview with a UFC welterweight, Curtis Millinder. He's actually making his UFC debut this Sunday against Thiago Alves at UFC Fight Night 126. So here's the video file. If you guys watch part one of the video, the video file here from Avair is right here. And then, of course, I have the the audio file from Audacity as well. So what we want to do here is we want to combine the video and the audio together so you get that really smooth audio. Some of the software I'm going to show you on here, there's different ways of getting it, but uh, here's the website. Here's the legal way of getting it is, uh, you know, it's Vegas Pro. I actually use the Vegas Pro 13 edition. The reason I use Sony Vegas is because it's super fast to edit audio. I prefer it over any other editing software. First, we have to convert the video. And to convert the video, um, you want to use a program called Handbrake. Sony Vegas is very fickle with certain video formats, especially the ones that Avair produces. So you have to put it through this converter. Handbrake's free. It's really easy to use and it's really fast. So you're going to want to download that. So I'm going to take the Curtis Millinder file there. The only thing you have to really worry about here in Handbrake is make sure I like to put it on 1080p at 30 frames per second and then I put the video here to constant frame rate. What this is going to do is make sure that the video lines up with the audio accordingly. I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to pick a spot where I want this to get uh, saved. So I'm going to call this Curtis as in Curtis Millinder. So this process is going to take about three minutes uh, going through Handbrake. doesn't take that long, but it's definitely worth it because uh, then you don't have to line up the audio and everything like that. So that's uh, we're just going to let this go through here. And then once this goes through, we're going to put this into Sony Vegas. So now what we're going to do is go find our file uh, that's been exported. And we have the Curtis file here. And we're going to throw it into Sony Vegas. And you'll see the nice thing I like about Vegas that I'll point out right here. It shows the sound waves immediately. It's super easy to edit. And so what I'm going to do is take the clean audio that we got from Audacity and throw that on top. And then what I do is I match up the audio that I have on my end. Remember, this is just my audio. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to match this up right here to the audio that I have. And I'm going to go through and I'm basically going to just chop this up. So I'll get rid of my audio on this side. What I do in Sony Vegas is I right click and I go channels and I go right only. So we're only getting the guest audio. And then what I do is I delete any audio that's not being used. Whoops. First thing I do actually is I press U so I can separate the video and the audio. And I go in here and I click S on the keyboard and that means split. And then I push the audio away that way. And then I edit this way. So let me just get rid of the clips. You'll see off the top here. I'm joined once again by Kurt. And we're a little loud off the top, so I'm just going to lower that volume there. I'm going to move it over a little bit. And I'm just going to speed this video up right till the very end, so you don't want to watch me edit this entire thing. What I'm going to do is delete the video. I'm going to go here. I'm going to select the entire audio timeline here. And I'm going to save this as an MP3. So we go File, Render As. And I'm going to put this in my same folder with my interview, which is where the video is. So we go Interviews, February 10th and 12th. And even though it's not February 12th, it's, it's after that. And actually, I have it set on Wave. I want to put it as an MP3. Just gets the file a little bit smaller. Same deal. Let's put it in here. And then I hit render. And it takes like a second. It doesn't take long at all. But this way you have really good audio and I don't have to do it while I'm editing the video. And it just, I can edit way faster on Sony Vegas than anything else. So we're, we're just going to let this uh, sort of go for a second here. Now. The next step is we're going to go into Adobe Premiere. Now, normally I make my templates ahead of time, but you happen to catch me on a night where I didn't have my, my templates done. So I'm going to actually go to Adobe Photoshop. And again, same thing if you want. Uh, there's, there's certainly different ways to, uh, to go and get it. So uh, what, what you can do here is uh, I'm going to just go to my templates here. So I'm actually doing this interview for Fansided and Sports Illustrated. So I have a whole folder full of uh, just templates in here. So I'm just going to go here to Fansided and I'm going to go to Fanside Key. And we're going to go here and find Curtis Millinder. And I'm going to find his Twitter handle here. Boom. So we got our key. That's all we need for this. I'm going to go save as. I'm going to save it in that same interview folder that we were in before. Okay, so like I said, uh, with Sony Vegas, same thing with Adobe Premiere. You're going to need to uh, find a way to get it. Uh, there's different ways of getting it, but uh, here's the legal way you can go through here on Adobe Premiere. You can get a free trial and try it out that way. So I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere, and i got a project folder in here called Interviews. Oh, as far as settings, by the way, um, one, one of the best tricks is, uh, you know, if you have your video, right-click on it, go Import. Once you import the video in here, 
um, you're going to want to go and let's say your videos here. This is an old interview I did with Brandon Davis. Right clip and go new sequence from clip. You always want to make sure the sequence is the same setting as the video to get the best quality. So that's something to just quickly keep in mind. But uh, now I already have templates made for these, so it makes it a little bit easier. But uh, you know, I recommend if you're going to be doing this, you're, you're going to want to be making your own templates as well. So I actually have a whole list of them here. So we're going to go into uh, templates and I'm going to go to fan side and SIMMA. I'm going to go duplicate. I'm just going to go in here and rename this Curtis Millinder. Okay, and I already have a default video in there. And the reason I have that in there is because that way I can, uh, you know, just quickly copy and paste everything. So th this is uh, just a test video I have with uh, Gina Mazzani, who's a UFC fighter. Um, so I'm going to just uh, delete that. And we got the two video shells here because this is, this is going to be a video here and this is going to be a video here. You'll see what I mean because if I take this away, there's no video. There, there, are two, there are two custom made video slots that are in there. There are two layers of video, as you can see here. Layer, video here, video here, and then the name key on top, which is the same thing that we just edited. So we're gonna go in here to Curtis. All right, we're gonna throw Curtis down here. There's the video. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do right here, it's because this is the video and the audio from the Avair file. We're gonna right click this and go unlink. And I'm gonna copy this video. I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna put this video on top because we want them to both, we want both videos to fit properly in the shell here. See, this looks weird. So what I'm gonna do is copy these settings here under effects control, motion, crop, copy, paste. Doesn't show up because there's a video on top of it. And then same thing with the other video, copy, paste. There we go, that looks good. Although Curtis looking a little bit, not that lined up there. So I'm just gonna move him up a little bit. Let's see what type of room we got here. So yeah, he is a little bit low, unfortunately, but I'll uh, just line it up accordingly. And then I look okay. I don't look good in that screen grab there, but uh, I certainly look all right. So, so sort of the last step here is I just have to line up the audio that we edited in Sony Vegas, because that's the only thing I'm really concerned about. And the video itself was fine. Um, if there was something that you know I screwed up in the interview or something, I just I'd edit the audio and then I'd know when I come into Premiere to to sort of fill that gap. Or if there was something I didn't want in there, I'd remember to to not add to to not have it edited in there or have it edited out, I should say. So we're gonna go in here to and there the audio is lined up. I like to move it just a bit forward because for some reason Avair just has it like a couple frames off. So I'm joined, I'm joined once, once again, again by Curtis, Curtis Millinder, Millinder, who's gonna who's be making. making all right, so now we're going to delete the Avair audio that's on there and just so we have our clean audio there. Making his UFC debut coming up here this Sunday. At and I see the audio is just off slightly, so I'm going to move that back a little bit. UFC Fight Night 126 in Austin against Tiago Alves. Curtis, what's going on, man? How are you? Uh, not much, man. And as you can see, that is not Rafael Sunso. I have to. I forgot to add the, uh, the key that we made. So what I'm going to do is throw that on top there. And I'm going to move this here, and I'm going to go copy and paste so we have the right settings so there we go curtis millinder on top boom we're good to go and then these are the old test videos i'm going to get rid of that and we're just going to go in here and slide all of this over so we're good and i like to put a little fade off the intro here i'm going to throw that there whoops there we go and i like to put my interview starting just a little bit before the intro comes out I'm joined once again by Curtis. And you see that little gap there? I gotta fix that. I, these are things you know. I'm joined once again by Curtis Millinder, who is gonna be making his UFC debut. Okay, so the interview is pretty much done. The only thing I do, I mean, I have to uh, obviously cut the, make sure the end looks good here. So I'm gonna move this back. Of course, I love you guys. Thank you. What's up, Fight Fans? If you like. Okay, so there you go. Video's done. I'm gonna click O for out. And you can see this is the in and out, so it knows when it's gonna it's gonna export it. This is what you do. One last thing I like doing, um, I like finding like a specific screen grab, and I've yet to figure out a way in Photoshop that uh, you know I, I'm able to actually save an image. So I do just a print screen thing, and I like to find you know a screen grab where I'm smiling, the guest smiling, or something's good, something's good going on. There we go, good enough for me. So I'm gonna extend that here. I'm gonna press print screen. And I'm going to go to Paint, which everyone should have on any Windows machine. I know they're trying to get rid of it, but there we go. Pull that in there. Crop. I'm going to save that image. I have a whole folder full of photos that I use, screen grabs and stuff. So I'm going to call this one Curtis. And then the final step, and this is important, is you're going to want to make sure you export this in the highest quality. At least that's what I, I like doing. 
then you get the best stuff. So I'm going to go File, Export, Media. Now, I've made a template already, but I'll just go through the template really quickly. It's called uh, Lynch HQ Standard. But the settings you want here, you always want H.264. That's ideal for YouTube. It's an MP4 uh, codec. And then, uh, you know, your dimensions, you know, uh, 1280 by 720, which is what we recorded at. The frame rate, 30 frames per second. You can, again, adjust this to something higher. But I, I like to go with what was recorded with uh, video-wise. And then here's a key thing. And this I discovered this late, uh, unfortunately. And I was it took forever to edit interviews, unfortunately. But your bitrate encoding, you want it to be CBR. Make sure sometimes it's default to VBR2 pass. Always set it to CBR. And your target bit rate, make sure it's high, something like 40. If you decrease this, your quality is going to look like crap. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, if you plan on doing a bunch of different interviews, um, I, I recommend getting Adobe, um, Adobe Encore, which I have on here somewhere. Oh, maybe I don't have it on the start menu. But that, that's where you'd hit Q. I'll just show it to you anyways. So this is where you can just uh, do like a batch export. So if you have a bunch of interviews in a row and you want to uh, throw those on there, then this is a good way to do it. It's just going to take a second to, to load. And you'll see here, there, it shows up there. And all I have to hit is this and go. And, and basically, if I'm doing more interviews, I can just keep adding more to uh, this, this batch. And when I click play, it's going to export them all at once, which is awesome. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to do a single export. So like I said, we already have our settings good to go. I'm going to go down here to there. And I hit export. And I save it to my desktop. And then I upload to YouTube. And that's it. We're done. That's pretty much all I do as far as editing my video interviews. I know for some it's a, it's a lengthy process, but this is the way I like doing it just with the fact you're going to get, you know, really clean, clean audio, clean video, um, you know, and I love using Premiere. I think Premiere is the best software to edit, um, you know, on a PC. Uh, if you're a Mac guy, Final Cut Pro might be your better bet, but for me, it, it's definitely Premiere. And, uh, you know, that, that's just um, sort of what I, what I recommend. I recommend doing Adobe Premiere on this one. Guys, if you like this video, thanks so much. Um, I'm going to say something else. So that's it. We're done. We just hit export. We're good to go. That's pretty much the end of this video here. Um, I'm going to do another video at some point on how to upload to YouTube. I know that seems very basic, but there's a tagging structure I like using, and there's a certain way I like sort of uploading stuff. So I'll keep that for another video. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel. Click that button right here. Greatly appreciate it. If you like the content, if you don't like the content, just check out my channel anyways. Um, you can find this uh, here, youtube.com slash Lynch on Sports. And you can follow me on Twitter right here at Lynch on Sports. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear feedback on these videos. I'm going to be doing more of them going forward. I really appreciate the support. And uh, that's it for today. I don't know what I'll be doing next time, but uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing more exclusive content on this channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.